iron in the soul. What's up, YouTube? This is Iron and Soul. Back to stay with another very important message. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, leave a comment, let me know what you think about my content. In addition to that, please feel free to follow me over on Instagram at the King Jabez, as well as my website, theironandsoul.com. It will all be greatly appreciated. Let's do some work. Today's video is entitled Chosen Ones Break Curses at the Midnight to 3 a.m. War. There is a spiritual war every day from midnight to 3 a.m. I'm sure a lot of you didn't know that. I mean, that's not necessarily common knowledge. You know, King Von, he has a song called 3 a.m. And, and what is he talking about in that song? He's talking about, by the way, I listen to a lot of hip-hop music, by the way. And I like hip-hop music. And King Von says in his song, he's talking about a robbery. He's talking about catching somebody, leaving a club with his girlfriend. And you see the video, he's with his girl. He's robbing them. So at this time, he's talking about committing a robbery. If you listen to a lot of his other lyrics, between midnight and 3 a.m., he's talking about doing hits, catching people slipping, game banging. Clubs all over the world, right? What's happening in the clubs all over the world between the hours of midnight and 3 a.m.? A lot of sorcery, right? Well, and I know you guys are, here we go. Right, yeah, here we go. We, we, we're going to war today. Sorcery. Sorcery through the drugs, the pills, smoking weed. A lot of you listening to me are struggling with that sorcery spirit, right? And so this is not a condemnation. This is me giving you a real message. I'm going through with this. So you have the sorcery. You have the murder, the violence. A lot of shootings, gun violence happens early in the morning between midnight and 3 a.m. Let's talk about the sex piece, sexuality. There's a lot of soul ties, casual hookups body counts that are happening between midnight and 3 a.m. So if you kind of put this all together, if you really look at this really object objectively, from midnight to 3 a.m., there is a lot of satanic and demonic activity. And we haven't even talked about what's actually going on with real witches and warlocks. Did you know that witches and warlocks are chanting and praying and speaking curses and spells over people at that time. And a lot of these people are in these secret societies that you admire. <laughs> you admire these people and look up to them, and they're speaking curses over your life at midnight. So I want you to understand that there is a real war. If you call yourself a chosen one, you say, that's it, I'm chosen. If you're chosen, you need to understand this. If you are, if that's who you are, chosen man, chosen woman, you need to understand that from midnight to 3 a.m., I'm going to say it over and over again, there is a very real act of spiritual war. It's referred to as the third watch, okay? This is the time also where um, Peter was set free from prison in the book of Acts. Did you know that, right? So during this time, this is a time for men and women to be set free from spiritual prisons. If you're listening to me, I'm going to talk to you now. You listen to me right now. And you say, Iron Man, I'm in a spiritual prison. I'm in a spiritual prison that you call depression. I'm going to talk to you now. I'm in a spiritual prison that's called online corn. I'm in a spiritual prison that's called anger, suicidal thoughts. Some of you right now listen to my voice. You don't have to comment, but you are going through a real spiritual war. And I want to challenge you to win that war between midnight, what time is it? And 3 a.m. 3 a.m. is known as the witch's hour, right? And it is at that hour that a lot of dark satanic stuff happens. So I want to encourage some of you to wake up early, right? And get ahead of that by speaking blessings over your life. Now, that's what I did this morning. I was up this morning exactly at 3 a.m. And I prayed from 3 a.m. to 4 a.m. Why was that? I want to get ahead of all the demonic activity. You think I'm online doing these type of talks and I'm not, I'm not getting attacked? I'm getting attacked. There, I, I believe, I'm almost clear that there are probably witches and warlocks who speak against what I got going on that are trying to stop my work. Why? Because it's of God. And so with that, I understand the importance of breaking curses. We talked about this before. You have to break curses. I don't care how hard you work. And, and some of you have asked me this question. You know, Brother Iron, are black people under curses? And I, I'm going to be honest with you, man. As I read Deuteronomy 28... 
and the curses that are in that chapter in Deuteronomy 28, a lot of us face those curses. I got to be honest about that. And so I'm not going to say that you are a cursed person if you are a person of color, but you have to understand that there are some curses and spells that follow us for whatever reason, right? There was something that our ancestors did, I'm going to be honest about this, that did not please God. And it is now our responsibility to figure out which ones are in our lives because we don't all struggle with the same ones. We need to figure out which ones we are struggling with and be proactive in breaking that. Why? Because if you don't break the curse, you will be chasing your tail your whole life. You cannot, you cannot outwork a demon. I've told you that before. You cannot outthink a demon. You had to get rid of them in the spirit. And so that's why some of you, man, you're working hard and you just can't seem to get ahead. You just always, as soon as you get close to get something done, it falls apart. You're constantly finding yourself running into this invisible wall. Like I got this wall behind me right now. Some of you feel like there's this wall that's in front of your purpose. That's in front of your destiny. And you can't get where you need to go. You know what I mean? And that's something that has to be taken care of in the spirit. So between midnight and 3 a.m., start praying at that time. I'm not saying you got to pray for three hours every day. I'm not saying that, you know, but I would say maybe once a week. It wouldn't be a bad idea. Maybe once a week, get up somewhere around that time, around, you know, midnight to three. And specifically pray against those spells coming against you, that witchcraft, those warlocks. Begin to speak the blood of Jesus over your life and understand that that has the power to bring angelic protection around you. Right, some of you, th this when, when, this is serious. When you're doing this, you, you see there there are angels that work too. So it's not like it's just the demons are working by themselves. Uh, we sometimes put an emphasis on the activity of Lucifer and demons, and we forget to mention the reality of angels. Right? If demons are active at that time, you best believe that God's angels are active too. You know. So what we have to do is to tap into that power. And, and receive that assistance from angels to block those curses, to block that activity coming against you. Whether you believe it or not, I don't care what you believe. I'm telling you what I know. There is a lot of demonic and angelic activity around you, whether you realize it or not. You can't see it, but that world is real. Okay? And we can't be so focused on what's happening in the temporary world that we forget about what's really happening in the spirit. And so you need angels to help you. You need to be uh, protected against, you know, demonic assignments. You need to cancel those plans. And those plans can be canceled when you tap into the spiritual power and that third watch. And so the third watch is from midnight to 3 a.m. There's a very real spiritual war. And if you can begin to win that war, what you will see, I'm going to speak to you now. You will see blessings come your way. Some of your blessings are being blocked at that time. Some of your money, I'm going to talk to you now, is being blocked at that time. Your ability to connect with the right woman is being blocked at that time. Not being able to discern the wrong type of woman is being blocked at that time. This is the reason why some of you are having these nightmares. You're waking up every day having bad dreams, which starts your day off in a very low vibration, a, a place of depression, discouragement, and no direction. And so this is so crucial that you win this war. And, and this is where a lot of you guys fall into sexual sin. This is where a lot of you guys relapse, right? Watch stuff on your phone. I'm going to talk to you now that you should not be watching. This happens a lot of times. What time, guys? Come on. Midnight, 3 a.m. And you're back to day one. And so you have to make a conscious decision to be aware of all the activity. This is why many of you are waking up. If you even look at your own life, you say, man, I wake up a lot of times. If you think about this, you say, man, are you right? You're right. Between like midnight and three, I wake up. Maybe to go to the bathroom. You know, maybe you toss and turn it at that time. There's some spiritual activity going on. And, and, and that's the time for you to pray. Right? To reflect. To break that curse. To be set free from that which is holding you back. There is something that is holding back your wealth, your purpose, your energy. 
right? Your focus. It's an energy war. Everything is on energy. Energy, vibration, frequency. That's true. There's a war against all of that. And you have to begin to tap into that and pray prayers that will help you to win that war. This is your brother Iron and Soul. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace.